Today I'm going to talk about how to selectively run a report through the Sharewell Service Management Scheduling Server. The scheduling server allows you to schedule tasks of, of all kinds, uh, database backups, blueprint applications, uh, one steps, and reports. The thing about it though is that it either runs it or it doesn't run it on its schedule and there's no way to uh, apply a conditional to the running of a particular task. So we have a change report that runs daily and this change report details for the change manager all of the changes scheduled to begin on that day. The change manager wants a report if there actually are changes to be had that day. So if there's one or more changes beginning on a given day. If there are zero changes beginning on a given day, she does not want to receive an empty report. So how do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and look at the scheduling server real quick. I'm going to go into the scheduling category, edit schedule. And here I have my task set up, my scheduled item to run daily change report. Let's click edit. Um, the schedule is going to run 6 a.m. every weekday. And the action is run an email daily change report. Let's look at that one step. So this one step does double duty. It actually generates the report and then sends an email attaching it to it. Uh, a couple things you'll notice here. The business object is none. Right, this is an unassociated one step. We have no way to access any of the fields in the change request object. So we're going to resort to a stored value. So let's have a look here. Um, I'm going to, I have, uh, the first step is to run the daily change report if there are changes. So let's check the conditional on that. And what I've done is created a stored value called number of changes starting today. Let's have a look at that real quick. In this situation, it is a number stored value. Uh, I could easily have used a logical true false, but in this case, I want to know how many changes I might have starting today. So I'm using a number field. And so in this case, I want to see, uh, I want to we'll run this step, which is to run the report if number of changes starting today is greater than or equal to one. This, this email step uh, generates an email, attaches the report, and it just says, please see the attached report for details on changes scheduled to start today. And in the subject line, I have the number of changes starting today to let the change manager know at a glance uh, what the workday might look like. Um, and this is going to run again on the condition that number of changes starting today is greater than or equal to one. Now, going down uh, to the next step, this email will run if number of changes starting today are less than one. So it's effectively zero. So I'm going to edit this. And all this does is send an email affirming that there are no changes scheduled to begin today. And then finally, the last step is just to reset number of changes starting today back to zero in preparation for the next day. So I'm going to click OK. Click OK. So that is our schedule of one step. So let's look at how we would go about uh, setting the number of changes starting today stored value. We're going to need to somehow determine that. So to do that, I'm going to use an automation process. If you're on uh, earlier versions of Sharewell Service Management, that's called a business process. Uh, let's have a look there. Um, so I'm going to create a new automation business process. And what I've already got in change request is update changes starting today. Let's have a look at that. So this is a time-based uh, visual workflow. And the uh, trigger event is that when a change request is created. So anytime a change request is created, it will trigger this automation process. Uh, we're going to run it 24-7, and we're not going to limit the records. And we're only going to run it once, because a change request should only start once. Next, I'm going to wait for time. I'm going to wait for the date in the proposed start time, I'm uh, sorry, the proposed start date field. So when that time comes, um, shortly after midnight, it will uh, kick off this step. And when that happens, we're going to run a one step. And that one step is to increment changes starting today. So let's take over there and have a look. Here it is. It's under change request. And that will simply set our stored value to its current value plus one. So if we have three changes happening on a given day, that's all going to increment 
number of changes starting today. And that's that. And then we're going to end the process. So I'll close that out. So that is our admin side of it. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go into our client tool and try this out. So obviously we're not going to wait for an automation process to run and a scheduling server scheduled to run. So let's go up into One Steps, One Step Manager. I'm going to my user folder here. So uh, I've just got a few uh, demo One Steps set up here. So this one will tell us how many changes are starting today. So we have zero changes starting today. Let's go back in. So if on a given day where there were no changes, then so we run uh, an email daily change report. So let's see what happens when we run that. OK, so we got our message here down here. Let's pop that up. And we have a message that says there are no changes scheduled to begin today because that stored value was at zero. So let's delete out our emails here. And now let's go back into our one step manager and just let's go to my user folder here and we'll increment that stored value. That's all this one step does. It tells us what it is. Let's do that a couple of times. All right, two, let's say we have three changes starting today. Okay, so now let's go back in. So that would be the work of the uh, business process. Let's go to the none association, go to the global folder, and let's run email and daily change report again. Okay, there's our message. Let's pop that up. However, now our email is different. Our subject is that there are three changes scheduled to begin today, and we have a attached report. So in this little utility, I go here for my attached report, and that change report looks something like, like this. So in this video, we looked at how to uh, apply a conditional to a scheduled report in shareable service management using a stored value.